What's up, G? Welcome back to another episode of David Parody Plays. Today, I'm here with Ben. I look like a mess right now. Okay, but we're back in Ottawa. It's been a few days since we left Japan. Could have easily stayed there for a month. So today I'm craving the food. So I'm here at TNT Supermarket because we are gonna try to recreate the best ramen we had in Japan from Ichiren. Obviously, it's not gonna taste as fresh and exactly what it is, but we are gonna try to recreate it to the best of our ability. And I might grab some sushi too because uh, even though I ate it almost every day, I'm craving it again. Let's go into TNT, which is the best Asian supermarket here in Ottawa, Canada. Look at this haul. Oh my god, does that not look amazing? We got spicy salmon sushi. We have an assortment of uh, sushi rolls right here. I think that's maybe shrimp tempura. Tuna vabs, and I don't know what that is, but it looks delicious. Also, to wash it all down, you know I had to get the green tea vabs. Japan's number one green tea brand, bro. Ito N. And of course, I got a spicy salmon onigiri. And I know how to open these perfectly now because I've been practicing for the last two weeks, so we're Gucci. But for the ramen itself, we got the green onion, we got the seaweed, and we have... I don't know if this is the exact meat they use. Probably not because it looks like it's going to shrink up like five times the size but we got a little bit of pork butt that's literally what it says pork shoulder butt slice um only three dollars and 83 cents for this whole thing of meat so not bad not bad i am super excited to make this ramen as you can see look at that itchy ron ramen it comes in packs you want to show them Boom, right there. This is the exact bowl that we had in Japan. Minus, we aren't gonna have, oh no, we're gonna make the egg too. Um, does this look like this? Not really. And we couldn't find the mushroom, but. That's not mushroom. Yeah, it is. It's fungus. It comes with the noodle and the seasoning, so this should be pretty spot on. I mean, otherwise they wouldn't sell it, right? Here are the instructions on how to make it. I still only know arigato ogazama, so we have no idea how to make this. Uh, we're gonna improvise. So I think the first step, we're gonna boil some water. You know, cook the noodles. <coughs> um, we're gonna boil the water, put the noodles in, seasoning, and then add this stuff at the end. We also have to boil up some eggs and make sure it doesn't fully cook because it needs to be juicy and it needs to ooze out into the noodles. Now, if you're a viewer of the main channel, you know I had a device that could tell you when it is perfectly soft boiled, but uh, I didn't know how to use it and I threw it out, so we uh, just have to guess. But while we wait for our water to boil and our eggs to cook, let me try this sushi. Put a lot of wasabi because I love it. I don't remember if the wasabi at TNT is spicy, so we're gonna have to see. There's a video upcoming on my main channel uh, where we went to, where is it, Kaku Sushi? The one with the Kira sushi. Kira sushi. My G, the wasabi there was so spicy, so look forward for that video. But today we got this spicy salmon from Ottawa. Let's take this one, this big piece right here. All right, I know the soy sauce is supposed to go on top of the fish, but if I turn this around right now, it's about to fall apart, so we can't do that. But let me get some wasabi, some soy sauce, and let's try this. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so good. It's not better than the sushi we had in Japan, but I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty damn close. That is delicious, and it tastes fresh. I'm eating all of that. All right, Bae's gonna try a piece. You're trying to dip the fish? No. I mean, no, it's gonna fall apart. It's good. I agree. 
cooking. All right, the water is boiling. Um, the way to check if it's soft boiled, you just give it a little shake. Yep, it's not soft boiled yet. Probably like a few more minutes. Yolk to be oozing, right? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, what? The yolk to be oozing? Yeah. That's what we want. That's what we're aiming for. Next up, let's try the tuna vabs. This piece, I'm trying to get just the fish, guys. In that soy sauce with wasabi. All right, here we go. And then we got to let the fish touch the top of our mouths. Mmm. A little bit too much rice, but the tuna is still melting in my mouth, my G. This might be better than Japan sushi. I don't need to go back to Japan. So now we are marinating our pork slices in what is in that? It's just sesame oil and soy sauce. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. And we're gonna pan fry that until it's nice and cooked so we don't get sick for eating raw pork. <clears throat> and we are not gonna even touch this bag until all of our like ingredients on the outside is ready to be put in. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Okay, these pieces of meat are definitely gonna be smaller than the one we had in our uh, ramen bowl. Mm -hmm. They're about to shrink up in size by a lot. But that just means we add more meat. Shout outs to the worst sushi roll ever. If you eat just cucumber sushi, you're out. Oh! The meat is cooked. We are ready to put in the Ichiran ramen pack into the water. So what comes in one of these Ichiran ramen packs is obviously the cube of noodles right there. And then also right here we have the red hot sauce, which is that, I believe, which is in this. And then this big sauce packet. This is not a powder, this is just bare sauce, and I think that's to make the broth tastes good, or like itchy run. We gotta wait for that to cook up, and then, oh wait, do they even, do they add the sauce? They add the sauce! Oh shit! All right, and here's yeah. our egg right here. Hopefully it's perfectly soft boiled. And make sure you're having fun while you're cooking and you're eating sushi on the side just like us. Look at us, we're going away at these two plates of sushi. Guys, this is why I like these better in Ottawa. Look at the meat. They have it on the outside everywhere, not just like a little piece in the middle. Look at that salmon. They have it all throughout the onigiri, my G. I, I swear to God, no troll is better than Japan. If you have a TNT where you live, go get the onigiris there. 100%, I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. But it depends on your TNT. It might have it, it might not have it. The noodles are nice and cooked. For sure? Yep. Yummy. I can't wait to be back in Japan. The pack of sauce is going into the water. We are probably making it wrong because on the picture, it says the noodles should still be in there, but... <laughs> why Ooh, follow I see rules? Fat. There's fat in there? There's fat in it. It should have fat in it. Because the, yeah, fat the for broth... Flavor. The broth was nice and uh, rich. Okay, okay, okay. We don't need like every single freaking drop. Yes, we do. Here. This pack costs 10 bucks. You want to just put the whole bag in there too? Okay. Time to pour the broth. Don't put too much though. Don't overflow it. That's good. The nice chashu. It's not chashu. It's not chashu, but it's, 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 um, it looks pretty good. Right, now we're putting our soft boiled egg. Okay, wait, let's follow the package. Does it look like this? Oh no, they cut theirs in half. We gotta try to cut that in half. Pretty Unless sad. I take a freaking scissor and I cut it. It's gonna ooze out. Yeah, this perfect. Is really... It'll be good for the thumbnail. Green onion vabs. Where did they put it? They put it on the side. Who put it on the side of yeah. that side? Oh, too late. You already dropped a bit. It looks exactly like this. The red sauce in the middle? The seaweed. Oh yeah, the seaweed. seaweed. Put two slices in there. Oh nice, they're little thin ones too. To put... This much? Oh yeah, it? you can put it like that. That's vabs. You have to How spicy up. do we want it? Are we all using it all? Oh so my god. Nice. And by the way, when I was at the store, me and my dad tried uh, number four, because you can get number one to number ten on the spice level. Number four was too much for us. So I think t three was perfect. Look at how good that looks! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh my god. Get a thumbnail. Yeah, I need a quick. thumbnail. BRB. Moment of truth. I'm Don't gonna try to. that way, it's the other way. Like Horizontal. This? I'm gonna try to cut the egg, guys. Wish me luck. Oh! There we go! Yes! Yes! Here we go. Our DIY Ichiran ramen all the way from Japan. First off, let's taste the broth. Oh, with a little bit of that red. Uh, 
Let me try it one more time. Do I have to be honest, sir? Yeah? It doesn't taste like it! What the hell? It's not as rich. Maybe if I try it with some noodles, guys, I'm stressed out. It tastes more like instant noodles. You know what? I should mix the red sauce in with the broth. Maybe, Maybe that's why. add more broth into it. But here we go. Let me try with some broth and noodles. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. But does wow. it taste like it? Obviously, it doesn't taste like when you eat at the store. It's better than your regular ass instant noodles like Mr. Noodles, even Mama Noodles, I would say it's better than that. If this was Ichi Ram, Ramen in Japan, I'd say it's around here. Like, there's there's a gap missing there, you know, you gotta go to Japan to get up here. Regardless, I think this is not bad, not bad. Mmm, so creamy. I love chopped boiled eggs. Mm. I'm impressed. I would recommend you guys get this if you ever see it. But the only thing is, if you guys get this, you do need to go out in the store and get some other stuff like the seaweed, the green onion, and the meat. Because if I just ate the noodles with the broth, I don't think I would be as satisfied as I am right now. Hope you guys try this at home. DIY Ichiran Ramen. Until the next time in Japan, this is all I'm going to be eating. So, peace.